This is Tiny11 25H2V9, the latest, fastest, and most optimized version of Tiny11 yet. Hi, this is Neil from Epidus. In this video, we'll compare Tiny11 with stock Windows 11, side by side. We'll start with the number of pre-installed apps in both systems. Then we'll check the RAM usage in idle state. Next, we'll test CPU usage and analyze the background process count, thread count, and handles count. After that, we'll compare the total disk usage, then we'll measure how fast each one boots. We'll run a full Geekbench 6 test, both single and multi-core. We'll see how to enable Windows Defender in Tiny11, then we'll turn on Windows updates safely. We'll test how the Microsoft Store performs, and finally, we'll do the 256 megabytes RAM test to see how light Tiny11 can really go. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. Let's see the pre-installed apps on both systems. Windows 11, let's be honest, the start menu is a mess. It's loaded with pins you'll never use and comes with 37 apps you don't need. Bloat, clutter, and distractions everywhere. It's like your PC is working against you. Now look at Tiny 11. A super clean start menu, zero pins, zero pre-installed apps. Yet your security and Microsoft Store stay fully intact. Everything unnecessary is gone leaving just speed, simplicity, and total control. Let's talk RAM usage. Windows 11 at idle, doing absolutely nothing, eats up 2.3 gigabytes of RAM. Tiny 11, just 1.3 gigabytes, that's almost half, leaving more memory for the apps you actually use. And if you wanted to push it even lower, you can use Velotic to optimize your system further. Velotic isn't a cleaner, it's a system overhaul. It raises FPS, cuts lag, and keeps your PC running like it's brand new, every single day. CPU and GPU are tuned automatically. Junk files are deleted before you even notice. Hidden slowdowns? Gone in real time. You get over 500 pro-level tweaks, one-click Windows debloat, instant app installs, and smart power management that adapts to how you work or play. It even compresses data safely to free up 70% more space without deleting anything. This isn't a quick fix. It's the same technology used by power users and studios to keep systems fast and reliable. Built over three years, tested by thousands, and refined with every update. $19.99 once. Lifetime speed, zero effort. Velotic. Built for performance users who refuse slow. Let's look at CPU usage and background activity. Windows 11 runs around 147 processes, nearly 2,000 threads, and about 60,000 handles. Even at idle, it's doing a ton of work you don't need. Tiny 11 runs only 110 processes, 1,080 threads, and about 41,000 handles. It removes all the adware and background junk Microsoft preloads. Yet every essential process stays intact, so nothing breaks. The real point? Tiny 11 frees your CPU to focus on what you actually want to do, making your system faster and more responsive instantly. Let's check disk usage. A clean Windows 11 installation takes a massive 35.4 gigabytes, and that's before you install a single app. All that space is eaten by bloat, background apps, and junk you'll never use. Microsoft fills your PC with clutter, wasting your storage. Now look at Tiny11. The same full Windows 11 25 H2 build comes in at just 7.68 gigabytes. No bloat, no junk, zero unnecessary apps. You get a lightweight, clean system that actually respects your storage. Now let's compare boot times. We'll restart each build and measure how long it takes to fully reach the desktop. To make this test meaningful, we're using a single core processor, so the difference you see is real and significant. And yes, this is real-time testing. No clip speedups, no tricks, just the system starting from scratch. Windows 11 takes 42 seconds to fully complete the restart process. That's nearly a minute of waiting while your PC is bogged down with background processes, services, and unnecessary bloat that you'll never use. Even a clean installation of Windows 11 isn't actually clean. It's still running tasks you don't need, which slows everything down before you can even start working. This is why boot speed is such a critical part of your PC's day-to-day -day performance, because wasted seconds add up, and Windows 11 wastes a lot of them. Tiny 11 on the same system 
takes just 32 seconds to fully boot. Before you comment, but my PC boots in 10 seconds, remember, this test is on a slow system with a single core processor. We're not trying to show absolute numbers. The goal is to highlight the ratio of speed up between Windows 11 and Tiny 11. Windows 11 takes 42 seconds, Tiny 11 just 32. That's a 25% faster startup on the same hardware. Even on faster systems, the improvement is proportional. If your Windows 11 boots in 10 seconds, Tiny 11 will bring it down to around 6 to 8 seconds. No matter the PC, Tiny 11 reduces wait time, removes background clutter, and gets you to your desktop faster and cleaner. That's the real advantage. Every second saved adds up, and Tiny 11 is built to maximize speed from the moment you power on. Now let's check Geekbench 6 performance. But first, you might be wondering who I am. I'm the original creator of Tiny 11, and I released it just one week after Windows 11's unofficial release in 2021, long before NTDEV showed up. You might ask, how is Tiny 11 even better than NTDEV's build? Here's the deal. NTDEV's builds are for deployment and testing only, not for daily use. They said it themselves. We, on the other hand, create premium, safe-to-use builds for daily use. Buy Tiny 11 and you don't face the security risks that come with third-party builds like Ghost Spectre or XLITE. And we have here, Windows 11 scores 2,137 single-core and 5,332 multi-core. If you're wondering how to install Tiny 11, check the pinned comment. You'll get the link to Tiny 11 25 H2 V9. And if you don't want a clean install, you can use Velotic to turn your current PC into Tiny 11. We'll show that later in the video. Tiny 11 on the same system scores 2,412 single core and 6,629 multi core. A clear jump in performance. That's higher efficiency, faster processing, and more headroom for apps and multitasking. Even on identical hardware, Tiny 11 just gets more done, faster, without compromising stability or security. Now let's talk about Windows Defender. Some users rely on it, others prefer a third-party antivirus, and some avoid it entirely because of false alerts. Tiny 11 gives you full control. By default, Defender is turned off, but you can enable it anytime. Just open the Configure Toolbox, go to the Windows Defender tab and click Enable. And just like that, Defender is fully active and protecting your system. Simple, fast, and under your control. Now let's talk about Windows updates. By default, updates in Tiny 11 are paused, which means Windows won't automatically install anything unless it's an emergency security update. If you want to enable updates fully, just go to the Settings app, open Updates, and turn them on. As you can see, the system is completely up to date right now. You also have the option to disable updates completely using the Configure app, but I wouldn't recommend that. It can break Microsoft Store and other system features. Now let's talk about the Microsoft Store. It works just like on any regular Windows build, as long as updates are enabled. Tiny11 comes with zero pre-installed apps, so you might want to grab essentials like Notepad, Calculator, or Snipping Tool. Just search for what you need, click Get, and it installs automatically. Simple as that. You can also sign in with your Microsoft or Xbox account to access all your purchased apps and games without any issues. And just like that, we've installed Notepad, and it's ready to use. Fast, smooth, and hassle-free. As promised, we're putting Tiny11 to the ultimate test, running it on just 256 megabytes of RAM, less than what many PCs had back in the 1990s. This is our release standard. If Tiny11 can't boot on 256 megabytes, it doesn't meet HT and Epitus quality, and those builds are immediately dropped. As you can see, it boots up without any issues. Of course, don't expect lightning speed at such low memory, but this proves just how lightweight and efficient Tiny11 is. I'll open Task Manager so you can see the actual RAM usage, promise kept. Tiny11 is a premium product built for people who value performance, privacy, and peace of mind. No lag, no clutter, no wasted potential, just performance that lasts. Sure, you could grab free builds from some random Creator X online, if you don't mind the free malware that comes with it. If you want safety, speed, and peace of mind, our premium build is the only way. Link in the pinned comments shows how to clean install Tiny11. But if you don't want a clean install, you can achieve similar performance using Velotic by 
turning Windows 11 into Tiny 11. Open Velotic, go to the Debload page and hit play. That's it, the entire process runs automatically. In one click, your PC becomes Tiny 11 fast, with no files deleted and no features broken. A full guide is linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. This is Apetus signing off.